buckaroos and welcome to another video with Big Maccabee Pop Ginger. Now we're doing something a little different today. I've been wanting to try this for a couple of months because I keep seeing it advertised online. It is a pop culture surprise bag. Very similar to the kind of things you used to get as a kid, but instead of a little colouring box, we're going to get something a little better. Oh, I should hope. I picked this one up from The Works. Turns out HMB also sells them. Did not know that. Like I said, I keep seeing them advertised for probably about the last two, three months now. That cow was tempted to get one, mainly because of this part here. It's always a, let's be honest, a BS uh, promise. Claims £50 worth, of, or over £50, €60 Euros worth of goods inside. You're never going to get that much, let's be honest. It costs £15 to buy, so... At this point, I'm just hoping we'll get at least the 15 quid back. They had about five or six of these left in the works in Leicester Town Centre. I had a little feel around on them. Some of them just felt like they were full of like plushies. Not exactly what I'm looking for. I like one that felt like it had like a nice book or something in it. Pretty much every one is guaranteed to have some kind of a Funko pop in from what I'm looking at. Or from what I'm seeing, should I say. There's 15 LA. And I could feel... That some of them, they felt like they had graphic novels or something in. A lot of them were dead thin ones. This one, I felt around and found a nice thick one. Hopefully that will enhance the value. So without further ado, like I say, let's get this open. I'm not expecting to actually get 50, uh, 50 pounds worth of value back from this. But I'm hoping to see if we can at least get 15 pounds worth of realistic value out of it so let's have a little feel around it it says a minimum of three items i can feel more than three items in here so that's a good start so let's see what the first item out is okay so these kind of things yeah i recognize these these come from a lot of uh, the hmv mystery boxes that oh i forget the name of the company that was making them before it's very similar. This is very similar to an Eagle Moss kind of thing. This it looks like it's a collectible model. So let's just slide it out. Yep. Yeah, it is. It's a collectible model. Comes with a base. It's got a bit of a stand here. And then some sort of an airplane. Now, I'm, I'm not a huge Star Trek guy. But I'm going to guess... It's, yeah, it's got all the different Star Treks on the side. So if I was to guess, I'd say... Retail value on that, I would guess probably, I don't know, 15. Realistically, a couple of quid, maybe a fiver. That's what you would get back on that. Next item out is... Okay, so we've got ourselves a blind bag. It's something called Board of Directors. Bag clip, five to collect. And they all look like some kind of chimps or monkeys or something. A little look see on that so let's see which one we're going to be pulling today these i know these kind of things sell for about 5.99 on retail realistically they're only good for a couple of quid but here's what it is okay we got ourselves us the sailor one uh what's his name capitone cap it's it, it's random I don't know who came up with this creation. I don't know. It actually looks fairly... The detail on it looks higher quality than uh, some bag clip products and things that I've seen in the past. So it's not the end of the world. And that's actually... That's, that's not bad. It's different. It's different. Right, so the next item feels like... Yeah, I think we've got four items in here unless there's anything small near the bottom. This is a heavily damaged Funko Pop, so quick up, I don't give a shit. Three, two, one. Oh, okay, so we've got one from Hawkeye. Yeah, see, bad idea putting these in this kind of thing, let's be honest, because it gets squashed. That's that's a better quality pop than I was expecting to come out, though. I was expecting, like, some... You know, the ones that go for, like, a quid, two quid, like... Nobody wants them, that's why they're in here. I personally quite like... Hawkeye. 
you know unfortunately though, like i said it was damaged because you can see this this entire side here is well it's easier to see in person than it is on the but it's bowed in it's the weight of it is squashed the side of this box but that's not bad retail value on these is what about 12 quid nowadays realistically good good for a fighter still so let's see what let me just have a look yep so we've got four i that can't even count four items in our bag which is good so we've got those three figures and then finally we've got a book this is where the most of the value is going to be i would assume probably going to be one of the eagle moss books but it's quite thick so let's find out in three two one yep i was right but actually i'm i'm glad i picked that one so it's bloody thick look how thick that is that this contains i mean this only contains three issues it says it's a oh then again it's a special so these are probably all special edition one million Issues 1 through 3, originally published in 1998. Uh, okay. It's fucking thick. Look at the size of that. That's like... That's, that's thumb thickness. That's thumb thickness. That's good. I like that. That's going to be a fun read, especially when I'm buggering off to Portugal tomorrow. I may well whack that in. That's going to keep me entertained for a little while. I may well whack that in with the other books I'm taking. Yeah, there's loads here. I'm guessing it's all a bunch of mini stories. It's saying like it's Man of Steel, 1 million, Superman, 1 million, Batman Shadow of the Bat, 1 million, and then Nightwing, Detective Comics, Starman, JLO, Regular Batman, and Catwoman all rolled into one. Not bad. So for 15 quid, nothing exciting. You, I wasn't massively expecting it to be for something like this. I, I'd consider giving it another go sometime in the future, not anytime soon, but sometime in the future maybe. But I'd say for the 15 quid invested, take the book and the pot together. You're looking, that, that's about your 15 pound realistic value. You can pick these up cheap, but one of this thickness, that would have been a, a chunky boy when it first released. Whack that in. Eh. Could have been worse. It, it wasn't as crap as I was expecting. So I'd say I'd say it's a positive note here. I quite I've enjoyed that to an extent. That's not bad. But that was everything I had for you on this one, folks. So until next time, stay safe, have a good day, and of course, live that pop fanatic life. I'll see you in a bit.